All right, Mark. In 11 days. Yes. We have East of the River Comic Book and Collectible Convention. And it's going to be at the American Legion Hall. This is going to be a big one. I think the weather is going to be nice. It is. I think, I think people are really antsy and want to get out of the house. Um, and um, I feel if you're a big collector, this is the show for you. And you can get in early at 9 a.m. for $3, early bird yeah. special. And I'll give you a huge selling point, Brian. Yes. I found out this past weekend talking to Scott the guy putting on the show, uh, the first person everyone will see when they go into the show will be this face. Why, you're the door Open guy? Open out and work in the door for him, so. Oh, you're working the door? Yeah, so come on down, say hello to me. You'll see me, I'll be taking your money. And uh, the prices all went up a dollar. That's how I'm getting paid, no, just kidding. It's $3 for early bird, a dollar for after 9 a.m. Well, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Correct. 9 a.m. Early to, bird. 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. is a dollar, but yes. the earlier bird, you get the whole place to $3. yourself. Well, Three not bucks. to yourself. There'll be other early birds there as well. So yeah, but yeah. you get the pick of the litter, really. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. So get there early. Yeah. Get there as often as you can, and come on down and check out all the stuff. Brian's gonna have boxes upon boxes of comic books. He's been talking about it nonstop. Yeah. Uh, Matt Ryan will be there. All the usual suspects will be there. I think our friends from Fantasy Frames might be there as well. Nice. So, uh, yeah, get all your stuff. Start getting your stuff together for those springtime birthdays. And get your Easter presents early at East River Comics and Collectible Show. February 27th at the American Legion Hall in Enfield, Connecticut, right next to the Dunkin' Donuts, which Scott was very happy. I was using that as, as the, the wayfinding when I talked to him as well. So be there. Or be, or square. be square. Welcome, it's Geekonomics, we're back. It is the post big game show. I found out it's not good to call it the superb owl because I guess they uh, copyrighted it and it's like you can get in trouble for saying it. So don't want to get any Sp Spotify like things or anything or any. The big game. Big game. It's happened so this stupid. Past weekend. It's yeah, the stupidest it's thing I've ever heard. I really want to promote it and say the name of it, but whatever. Uh, so that happened over the weekend. Last stuff's been going on. A lot of big trailers were dropped. One that literally made me squeal like a teenage girl when I watched it on my phone because it wasn't on during the game. You had to go on your phone and watch it. Don't know why they did it that way, but they did. What? Doctor Strange. They just announced that the trailer was out. They didn't have the, the trailer on the, the game. Yeah, it was. I no, they the had trailer. a commercial that said to watch the full trailer, go online and go on your phone and watch it. Oh, I... I swear to it's God, $7 million for the long length of time that they had the length of that trailer was way longer than the thing they showed on oh. during the game. So that's a possibility. Um, I watched it. So I know. Okay. I believe you. Yeah. So um, I like had to go on my phone, watch it. I'm like, clearly like, is everything okay? I'm like, Oh my gosh, Dr. Strange. That well, well, we're going to be talking we'll talk about, about that. We'll talk about that and so much more. Um, before we get into all that, Brian, how are you? How's things? How's life? What's new in the world of the Kazaska? Well, Mark, I'm glad you asked. I watched the Super Bowl. Week. It was um, it was kind of un uneventful. I yes. didn't care who won. I didn't care who lost. Uh, the halftime being show a, a, was okay. Being a football really, fan, I'll throw it. I'll right. say this really quick. I don't think you asked me. I don't oh, talk. I know, but you I'm just, just talk right you, over me. You're like you whatever. Said, I don't care. Sorry, Brian. it's a Zoom. It's hard. You're like breaking up on my. Uh huh. Answer. Uh huh. Uh huh. But um, no, just because just being a football fan, just throwing it in real quick. Uh, this had to be the blandest Super Bowl I've ever watched. Yes. 
continue. Okay. I was I was going to say, yes, it was very ho hum. The halftime show we got a bunch of uh, aging rappers together, um, and they performed. Some were better than others. Um, it was, it just brings it for me. It was just like, oh, I remember that song. Oh, that's a good song. Oh, that's an okay song. Remember oh, various. that's all right. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure a lot of folks did really love it, but in my opinion, it doesn't beat out Prince or Thank Tom you. or Tom Petty or Bruce Springsteen. Or uh, shit, I'll even say Katy Perry was better because I really liked her. Michael Jackson for back in the day. I didn't see that one. Oh my gosh. And I don't like Amazing. Michael Jackson. So, well, back in the day when Michael Jackson was, Michael he was Jackson. still a pedophile then and he's a pedophile. I know, but we didn't know that then. So it was different. We didn't because he hit it so well. Well, that's not, that's here nor there. So I don't, I don't consider, in my opinion, I don't consider that. A good At the time life. when it happened, it was an, ex, it was an experience. He was touching little boys during that. So I, not in the actual Super Bowl halftime. He could have been. We don't oh, know. I was watching it. Nothing happened. Well, you know, you never know. All right, whatever. You had little Jimmy's in the back room or something. I don't know. Everyone Any- enjoyed the Cosby show when it aired. I don't know anyone can like. A- anyway. Anyway, why are we going down this rabbit hole? I, you went I just, down the rabbit hole. I was just saying that it was a good halftime show. Okay. I, if you think so, that's good. Uh, I'm just saying this Super Bowl halftime show for me was just okay. It was just yeah. all right. Yes. Uh, Mary J. Blige was probably the highlight. Um, I didn't know 50 Cent was going to be there. No one did. He was a surprise. He looked like he had a lot of... Like a dollar 50 cent. He looked like he ate a lot of mom's spaghetti. Uh, that's my favorite line out of the Eminem song when yes. he says "Mom spaghetti." Yes. Other than that, I, I'm not a big fan of that song. I know everybody loves it. I don't. And know. okay, these are the big shows. All the artists do this, so I'm not criticizing people for lip singing because that's Thank what you. they lip singing because Thank that's you. that's what they do generally when a big shows are happening yes, they have to, it has to yeah. sound perfect and it's such a different element and i get that yes. so i don't I'm not yes. criticizing that by anybody but eminem did a horrible job of hiding it because multiple he times it moved the mic yes. and you heard the lyrics loud and clear and he's like this and he's he not even on, moving he does it on purpose i don't know if you knew this he i don't purpose. i don't think that's true i don't well, think that's true i don't heard the, there have been stories before where he said he does when that happens, when he has to do that, he does it on purpose. That way everyone knows he's doing it. Well, he's horrible at it. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I don't... I'm I mean, he's not actually criti- Simpson, so... I'm not criticizing them for doing it. I understand why they do it, but yes. I'm just saying just do a little bit better job of hiding it. And everyone's as good as Millie Vanilli at doing it, so... Yeah. Um, so, the commercials were great. There's some standouts that I really enjoyed. Uh, the Scrubs I, one. I have no idea what they were selling, but I enjoyed it. Yeah. To see Zach Braff and Donald Faison uh, together on the screen again. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then uh, the Colin Joe, Scar, Scar Joe was really funny. Uh, see, the but, thing with that one is uh, it's been on YouTube for like the past three weeks. And I ignored it <laughs> on purpose. I ignored it. I did not want to watch it until Super Bowl. You were so weird. Uh, and then I really liked... <laughs> The Larry David one yeah, until I realized it, it was for, it was it was for crypto. Sure. And I hate all those crypto ads. It's a scam, people. You're getting scammed. And we have celebrities now trying to scam everybody. It's just horrible. Horrible. Old NFTs, man in porch, ladies and gentlemen. NFTs old man in porch. and crypto. You want to lose your money? Go right ahead. But it's horrible. Um then this, the other- this has been your weekly old man in the porch report. No, get off my lawn, you kids, your NFTs. The funny thing is, the, the NFTs are just being sold from rich people to other rich people, and a lot of people are just like, This is horrible. A lot of uh, people, common sense, no, it's garbage, but it's That's just the world, Brian. It's just the world. celebrities that are rich that are inflating these prices. That's all. That's all it is. Welcome um, to America. I like the um the the Brie Larson uh, car commercial uh, uh, had um, Eugene Levy. Eugene Levy. That yeah. was really good. That was a good one. Um, yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. Um, but there were some good ones in there. Um, but overall, it was a Super Bowl. It There's happened. The Sopranos one. Yes, I dude, I got 
I saw that shot and I was like, oh my God. I, I Basically, that. as that commercial came on and I turned to Claire and I go, Brian's at home right now screeching. She's like, why? I'm like, Brian has a weird obsession with the Sopranos. That's a fantastic show. Um, so but- here's my thing with you on that commercial. I wanted to ask you about this because I saw it. I was going to text you, but I didn't know if you were watching or not. Do you think that like cheapens the end of the, the series? Because is that like somewhat answer like the the ongoing question of the series like the it's ending a, like first of all it's a commercial it's not canon uh second of all you know of second of all the ending is how you interpret it and i mm. i still think the ending is brilliant i think it's one Claire's, of the best Claire, endings that's clear the same question her quote not exact quote but her thing was well it's not like they can make a sequel with the lead anyways so yeah they could just, if they do, they could just say he's dead and then just go on. It's, a, com- it's a commercial. What are they going to do? Bring him back? Yeah, it's not. It's his not. son was terrible as him, so it's not like they can use a his song. His son was really good. His son's a good actor. I told actor. Claire that you love that movie. But I don't know. She's was, not a fan of it, so. It was a good flick. I enjoyed it. Um, I don't like everything, Mark. You do. Um, so anyway, I, I got a few things. Uh Let's move away from Super Bowl real quick. Um, I did watch the first episode of... My week was good, too, by the way. Thanks for asking. I know. Let me finish my stuff. Oh, what oh. you? I want to tell you... How I you're see- going into the news on me. I was like... No. Son did of you- I watched uh, Murderville, the first episode with Conan O'Brien. Oh, Pretty I have good. not watched it yet. It's really funny. Uh, it's imp- a lot of improv. Yes. There's some parts where th- it's really funny between those guys trying to hmm. hold a straight face. Um, I'm probably only going to watch the episodes with other comedians. The second episode has a wrestler, I think. Um, Mar- Lynch, Marshawn Lynch or something. Marshawn Lynch was a football player. Whatever. He, it looks boring as shit. So I'm going to skip that episode. He's like I, a, he's a very funny guy. I, okay. I'm going to watch the comedian ones because I feel like to me, that's better, but it just could be good. It could be good. I could be wrong. I think like the crew of it is mostly Conan's old crew. Like a lot of the people from Conan's old crew are on this show or working in this show. So that's the Conan connection. Well, he could be producing it. But... I think that's where there's something in there. I know there's some kind of connection there. That's why Conan was the first one. And Marshawn Lynch is a like big, him and Conan are good friends now. But it's, the, I mean, I don't know who's producing stuff. the show. I don't think Conan I don't see Conan's name in the credits at all, other than him. No, I think the people that work on his crew or something. I remember reading something like the guys that did Clueless Gamer and stuff like that are working with him on that Murderville show. I don't know, but it's good. Check it out. Yeah. Um, I have um, two episodes left of Cowboy Bebop. I'm going to save it for next week. I will finish it. Speaking of things I don't like, I hit episode six. I was so disappointed with that episode. I thought it was garbage and it's been a tr- now I'm trudging to finish the series. <sighs> episode six was so disappointing. I love that anime, that episode of the anime and they just, you could tell they, have no, idea, what, they have no idea what they're doing. And the writing is just horrible in that episode. That's the one where we all of a sudden phase a lesbian and it's just oh, cringe, yeah. cringe city. I was just kind of like, Oh my God, this episode that's the one with her mom? Uh, no. Oh. That's, the, that's another one that was a weird switch, which I'm okay with because in the original, it was the, our, it was a, the guy who pretended to be, they were married, pretended yeah. to be her husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they switched it to a mom. I'm okay with that. It was yeah. all right. But the episode was the, um, the VR episode. And then in the original cartoon, it's this kid in a coma and, like people are getting, being trapped inside his yeah, yeah. this AI. Yeah. And it really talked about a lot of different things. Um, and I felt like they just made it so generic. And Faye in the cartoon, she gets sucked into this cult. Yeah. And basically they have to get her out, but yeah, and antics ensue. And in this, she just meets this woman who's fixing the ship they have yeah. sex and talk about orgasms and i was like this is goddamn horrible and yeah. i thought the episode sucked um, i think sometimes they just instead of like uh, going the route of like pushing 
like the narrative they like dumbed it down too much it tried, was so hit generic. On, like hit on like the big like hey it's a it's an anime show let's do a lesbian angle yeah it was so it's generic like, it was so generic and after yeah. that one it's kind of been painful there has been better episodes afterwards i got yeah. two left i know the sec the next one is like a flashback episode and i know the finale is going to be the fin- like they're basically going to be doing the last episode of the series yeah which is crazy to me yeah because in the anime they both die so it seems like they're blowing their load very early on well and i love the first episode of uh, last episode is the one is the probably the most divisive episode well i'm almost there and I have to say the first which is half why of a lot series, of people were not disappointed when it was canceled. The first half of this up to episode six, I was on board. Episode six was it takes a the, turn. It does take a, a turn to I don't know if there's something that happened with the writing or I don't know. At this point, was, I'm like, I'm glad it got canceled. Like they I went to a certain show. point before COVID and then took a break for a long time and then went back and like things are not the same. Uh, or I, I don't know, but it doesn't yeah, matter. It doesn't, I will. I will talk Um, about it in full next week when I finish this, because I have, I'm not saying it's horrible. I I have, I have pros and cons. I have pros and cons. I I like some aspects and some aspects I do not like. It's not a perfect show by any means. Um, Anyway, other than that, I started Dying Light 2, which has been a lot of fun. That's great. Uh, A scary video game. Um, Friday, I hope to see Uncharted. And then next Thursday, uh, we're seeing um, the Foo Fighters. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Why? You're not going to go to Foo Fighters? No, no. I thought you were going to say Batman, but that's the following Thursday. Yeah. So I'm basically seeing a movie every week, which is kind of crazy. Welcome back to the world, Brian. I'm excited to go to the MGM. Are you going to go with me? I don't know yet. I got to see what's going on. I got to talk to the wife and see if there's... Isn't she working at 3.30 on a Friday? No, she gets out at 2 on Fridays. Ah. So that's why I got to find out what's going on. She can go with us. I don't think she wants to see Uncharted. Oh. Um, anyway, I don't even I, know if I want to see Uncharted. So that's the other thing. I don't, I've never played the video game, so I have no attachment or any basis in what the story is about whatsoever. I'm sure you can see the movie without... It looks like a poor man's Indiana Jones. but um, He is like... It's like an Indiana Jones slash Laura Croft, but I mean, yeah. the games are amazing. I mean, I'm hoping... It's getting decent reviews. I'm yeah. seeing it with or without you i don't care no no that's fine i, I, free- I probably end up going it's just i just don't know i got a free ticket so that's why i'm going oh i see what it is i got a free ticket babe uh, um but i did i i wanted to see it not no matter what but they had an offer like i upgraded the nathan drake collection to the ps5 version for 10 bucks and then they, they email you a voucher for the movie uh, and i was like sweet but it was only at the the regal, regal movies regal, regal. i've yeah. never been to the regal cinemas so that's the thing that's kind of pulling me into going is that yeah it's at the regal cinemas and i mean i like going to afternoon movies to be honest with you sometimes because well, you're old yeah and yeah old. yeah um anyway uh that's it for me this week mark what do you, what happened to you this week i know you got something really epic i did i did yesterday for valentine's day uh which i thought I mentioned it to Claire after I sent them. I'm like, well, it's kind of strange that I sent the guys my Valentine's Day present. It was of... weird, but I was happy yeah. for you. I was just over the, like, I was, I couldn't, like, I really wanted to just open it instantly and start building it. Uh, so Claire had something in, planned for the gift, like a sentimental gift for me for Valentine's Day yesterday. But unfortunately, with the uh, whole uh, shipping debacles that's been going on, it got lost in shipping purgatory and mm-hmm. she had decided to cancel it because it was never going to show up any time soon right so she'd been racking her brain and stressing out about what to get me for valentine's day so i had randomly been talking to her how you sent me that picture while you're at target last time of the r2d2 lego uh model yeah and how big it was and i was like wow look at this it's crazy it's like huge but it's not supposed to be that big. I think it's just all the pieces. And then I was like trying to figure out the size of it and everything. But tells and, you, we told it's a foot tall. Yeah. So that's us telling, that's something that I was telling Claire this story about how we were discussing it. And then so 
yesterday for Valentine's Day. That's what she gave me for Valentine's Day. That's a good one. And I was very excited. I've, I'm like fighting every instinct to not just open it up and start building it. Because I know well, once I start building it, I'm not going to be able to stop. Well, so. you're going to start it this weekend, aren't you? That's what I'm doing Saturday, probably. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So that's my plan for Saturday. Um, but yeah, so besides that, uh, I randomly started watching Reacher on the Amazon Prime. Yeah. Because uh, the lead actor in that was in Titans. He played Hawk of Dove and Hawk. So, and he was really good in that. Like, I liked him his as his acting. So like, oh, I'll give this Reacher show a try. Because I remember it was a Tom Cruise movie, which was terrible. Yes. And I was like, all right, I'm not sure. But the show is really good. Is it? Yeah. It's very like murder, like thriller. Murder mystery. Stuff. Well, yeah. it's, isn't it like spy thriller sort of thing? Well, he's a former uh, like special intelligence agent in the military, like investigator special yeah. investigator kind of like he which i never got why tom cruise was tom cruise's movie was completely not the story of the he books, looks nothing like a marine or no, anything of that no. nature. i guess the from what i read since into why they were so different because i was like why was this movie so bad if this show was so good i guess the sh- the movie like they just basically just used the name and that was it they had no other right like they didn't use anything to do with the books besides the name of the character and a little bit about what he did. Didn't really follow the story whatsoever. So I guess the the show is based off the Killing Floor book for Jack Reacher. Okay. And it was really good. It goes like really deep into his character and shows the development of the character. I mean, it's an Amazon show, so it's not super great, but it was good enough. Yeah. Eight episodes. It was a fun little time killer. Oh, they put them all out already? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought yeah, it was going to be like once a week thing. No, Amazon does the Netflix thing. They just throw them all out at once. Well, that's not true. On because some shows. Vox is once a week. The Boys is, is once a week. a week. Three yeah. a week. The Boys was once a week for season two. Yeah, but for some reason, I mean, maybe this came out like a while ago and I just didn't notice it, but I can't remember. But anyways, yeah, so yeah, yeah. whatever. So I watched it. It was good. I suggest it. I think you would might be into it. I, honestly, I see the trailer. I'm not interested at all, but mm. uh, I hear good things. It's yeah. not my thing. Not my cup yeah. of tea. Um, it's very, yeah. very along the lines of uh, um, reminded me a lot of the first Bourne movie. See, like, I don't like the Bourne movies. Well, not like the, the storyline wise, but like the action wise. Wow. It was very like hand to hand combat, like beat him up. Yeah. Big bulky guy. See, also kind of reminds me of the original Hulk TV show. Oh, yeah. Like the storyline wise of it, like he's just wanders into town, solves a mystery. At the end of this series of the season, he wanders out of town, yeah. moves on to the next town kind of thing. So I guess that's how the books go. So it kind of made me interested to kind of read the book. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet. There's a lot of them. I guess so. Yeah. Which is the daunting thing, because I don't know if I want to get that deep into it. But, uh, but yeah, so watch that. Uh, watch the usual suspects of Vox and Peacemaker and Boba yep. Fett. Yep. Uh, watch Super Bowl. Thought it was very bland. I uh, am one of those folks that wasn't a huge fan of this, the halftime show. And like I said to Claire, I said exactly what you said. I hold all the halftime shows to the Prince model, the Prince marketing scale, marketing scale. Prince's halftime show. Which I remember watching at John Francis' apartment at Bigelow. Yeah, we all did, yeah. With Chris Dupre, who's a huge Prince fan. I, the top for me is Prince playing Purple Rain in the rain. rainstorm. <laughs> yeah, it started raining, yeah. yeah that's the, the t- high echelon. That's the yeah. highest you can get. Yeah. If you I can agree. get to Prince playing Purple Rain in a rainstorm, that's like the high level. Yeah. So, that's what you have to get to. Like that's your your top point for me. Right. Everyone's different. Everyone Everyone's likes different things. Hitting for that. So I think it 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 was good for what it was. I yeah. wasn't a fan of the white, everything white. I think if they I think they like sanitized it a little too much, if they just made everything look like the buildings would have looked, I think that would have made it better. 
How? I think that it just because it makes everybody stand out. Because then, I don't know. if you have the... if you have that many people, it's gonna make it dark. So no, I know. I, but I mean, I just like why the whiteness it of it, but like the white motif on all the buildings was kind of. I don't know. I honestly, I, like, I wasn't a huge fan. I've I never, like that I'm never. I'm a fan of the the fake like stage prop things. Like uh, the the mixing board, like Dr. Dre was mixing the the mixing board as Eminem was playing in front of him. Yeah, that was strange. I don't ever think that's like it's like that's just gimmicky to me. I I like the set. That. I thought uh, the whole set, the motif was cool. I liked it more than performance. I think we could have we could have saved like we could have got one more song from the main acts if we just not had Kendrick Lamar I thought he was a throw-in there was no need for Kendrick Lamar to be there well he's for the younger audience that's but what it is he played two songs I've never heard of in my life I didn't even know who he was until that night well, I knew he was the guy he did the Black Panther soundtrack with The Weeknd so I know him from that but the, two, the song he the song whatever songs he played or he sang never heard of it before in my life couldn't Tell you what they were called they don't have any recollection of anything that he did uh i think the 50 cent part was useless i don't think there's any need for 50 cent to be in that i don't know what that was about uh we understand you were trying to in the club your mimic your video it's your birthday we're gonna party the, like the it's your birthday fat man hang upside down just looked very strange and awkward yeah yeah it was sad it is what it was what can you do? I think you could have just had, if you just did Dre, Mary J. Blige, and Snoop Dogg and left it at that, you'd been fine. I think they'd spread out too much with too many different acts. I try to shoehorn too much in. Hmm. Maybe. That was like, I think if you just stay with one act. Well, it's never one, one to act. two people, but it's like one to two people. I think if you kind of keep it to that, Unless it's a band who has like a plethora of like a catalog of songs. Yeah. I.e. Foo Fighters NFL. Where's our Foo Fighters Super Bowl? Yeah. Yeah. I think it'd be great. So, but yeah. So next year's Super Bowl. I can't even even know where I think next year's is in Dallas. So you're ready for some country music. Maybe. Who knows? You're going to play the music of the area that the stadium's in. This year we got the West Coast rap. We'll see what happens. I don't know who's from Texas, so. Um, Taylor, Swift. Yeah. It'll be Taylor Swift. Yeah, Luke Bryan. Yeah, I don't know. The Brown Boy Band. Zach Brown. Zach Brown Band. Zach Brown Band. Yeah. There'll be somebody. We'll <laughs> Is he even it. around anymore? I didn't know. Uh, uh, all right, let's move oh, yeah. on. So that let's was move uh, on. We're so the game itself on. was. Oh, hum. Like I said, it was bland. Probably yeah. the blandest Super Bowl. I, I don't know if it was the arena. There was not like it didn't sound like the fans cared. If it was the way that stadium set up, it didn't seem like there was a lot of noise, which was weird. I don't know. Let's move on yeah, from the strange. Super Bowl. We, 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 we've killed it. We but, have yeah, so many so other things to talk about. That was mostly what I did this week. Just All right. Watch Reacher. Watch the shows we watch. All right. So Let's talk about the um, Lord of the Rings trailer that dropped. Okay. I had a, I had to rewatch it on YouTube, um, and it just looked weird to me. And I I I know there's controversies, which I don't I think are stupid. I think anybody can play an elf. Anybody can play whatever. I I don't care. I'm not into that mythology enough to give a shit. Yeah, I'm not either. I think the imagery it just the imaging looks weird. It, I think the the images were nice. Like the the sets look crazy and huge and epic. Yeah, they do. Very Lord of the Rings esque. I just don't know if anyone's going to be into learning or watching a show about no one that we know from the original. Story. That is the billion dollar question mark because this takes place before it's a prequel. They added a bunch of new people for the show that were never in these books or whatever. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting. And there's no, unless there's like, like at least with the 
Game of Thrones prequel show. They've got actors that are known actors that they can kind of linchpin it that way. Like, but we know who hey, they are. We, Matt Smith's going to be in this. We know this who person. the Targaryens but I mean, are. But you know what I mean? It's like yeah. there's that linchpin at least of a named yeah. actor that's going to be like, oh, well, I like Matt Smith from what he's done before. I'm going to see what he does in this one. Yeah. And this one, there doesn't seem like there's any, like, it seems like just a bunch of random actors. Yeah. Playing no, like, Z level characters in the Lord of the Rings, like NPCs. <laughs> it's like, here's the NPC show for yeah. Lord of the Rings video game you've played. I saw the, the Vanity Fair photos and they were just very off putting. They didn't look, they looked very fake. Um, yeah, it could just be the photos that were taken. Too. I it's, think, you know, I think like, photo over Photoshop. There. But yeah. the trailer didn't do anything for me. The trailer, it, again, it, it was just like a teaser trailer. It wasn't like the official like story, or like what the show's going to be about trailer. So I think I need to see more. That was my thing is it looks nice. It perked my interest into wanting to know more about it. And that's all I think it needed to do. It didn't need to be like, I'm going to watch this come September, whenever it's going to air. I don't know. For me, it was just kind of like, so it, it I think it's off a little bit. So I, I think... Putting too much into it at this point is too early to decide because it's there's so much time until we see something that's an official trailer that's going to tell us what the story is and what they're going to. I know it's going to be the story of the Rings of Power and Sauron Sir, handing them out to the different like factions of the world. And that's what the main story is. But I think we need more of that and how it's going to all curtail out is what yeah. it's worth, yeah. i can't believe they spent a billion dollars on this that's the part that blows uh, my mind i can and like i've heard online and read online in different places and i heard one guy say this one one place is that amazon is trying to corner the fantasy market at this point it's like if you want to watch fantasy shows come to amazon we have wheel of time and we have lord of the rings yeah i guess so i guess so so we, we shall see um and then, i didn't watch wheel of time and i probably went up watching this show either so yeah uh, yeah wheel of time's not in my wheelhouse yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. bazinga um also uh we had uh the doctor strange which we'll save for later that was the big one big one yes the huge one now i did um, see the uh, uh i don't know if you saw this trailer uh, it was part of the Netflix like movies a week uh, commercial. Yeah. Uh, the first one is uh, the guys that did Free Guy. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds, Mark Ruffalo, uh, Zoe Saldana is also in it. It looks interesting. It looks like it could be good. Could be. It also could be very bad, but it looks like will it could I be good. Will I watch it? I have to see if it's, I have to hear from others. I mean, it's, it's free, time. so probably. You will watch I'll anything. I'm across it. Well, You'll yeah, watch it. I mean, if I got the time, why not? I probably won't watch it until I, I hear. I call research for the show, Brian. We need stuff to talk about here. I can't just be sitting here talking about every Marvel show that comes out. We have plenty to talk about. We have other stuff to talk about. So, uh, yeah, so it, it, it's got Ryan Reynolds in it, so I'll probably end up watching it anyway. Yeah, what was the other one? Oh, there was, I don't remember any of the other ones. Oh. That was That's the, the, that only, was the one. only one I've seen the trailer for. Oh, Jennifer Garner's in this too. But I saw that on YouTube. Yeah, like, I saw that on YouTube too. Yeah, like last week it popped up and I was like, oh, what's this? The new uh, Jordan Peele movie, Notebook's awesome. They showed a better trailer. You know trailer what my answer to, the, what, to me seeing that movie is? Nope. Nope. You don't like horror stuff. I just, the trailer made made me I, say nope. I'm excited for that movie. I the, there was a better trailer on YouTube, um, which was really good. I really enjoyed it. It's UFO, aliens, something crazy is happening. I don't know. I will see it. My first and my first thought from watching that trailer is is. Jordan Peele becoming M. Night Shyamalan. Yeah, but he hasn't. His last two movies are really good. Us was not good. That's subjective. I enjoyed Us. I thought Us was really good. Okay. And Pretty, I mean... The prevailing consensus is Us wasn't that good. From around the, the interwebs and things. 
I don't know about that. I just, I, is this like a black signs? Is this the African-American version of signs? I don't know, but what's have to, what's race have to do with it? Well, no, it's just because it like seemed like a very mystery, like it's like the same look of it. Like the aliens, you don't see them at all in the trailer. And... Yeah, but you could say that about most monster movies. They don't show you the alien or monster in the trailer generally. Well, just the way, like the way they were pro- like promoting it in this trailer just made me think of, because it was I like, didn't... you don't, and it's just a little hand underneath the table. And I didn't think of signs at all. It made me think of signs. Okay. I like signs. I thought that I was like signs too. I thought one signs of, was a good movie. It was one just, of best his better of movies of M. Night Shyamalan's movies yes. was signs. Um yeah. so if I mean I'm not gonna compare it to signs because I haven't seen it yet, but I like the trailer and I'm excited to see that movie. Yeah, I mean I like the actors that are in it and everything. Yeah, like, mostly I this face from uh he was the guy that was in uh Get Out. I never yeah. can say his name. Yeah, they have. He uses a lot of the same cast. Yeah. Um, in his films, like a lot of directors do. Yeah. But uh, I, I'm excited to see more. I like the mystery. Kiki Palmer is always funny. The things that I've seen. That's the girl that's in it. Yeah. So it should be good. Um, and then. I just I can't even remember when it comes out though. That was the thing. I don't like. I think it comes it, out in July. I think. Oh, okay. Oh, July twenty second. I think it was. Yeah, July twenty second. 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 July twenty second, twenty two. But yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. I have to see, like, I'll have to see the YouTube trailer because I know there was a different trailer. It's a longer one. That was on the, the Super oh, Bowl. Okay. Everything was shortened. Like, the, oh. like you say, Doctor Strange one was shortened too. Yeah, seven million dollars for thirty seconds. So, so much waste of money. So much waste. All of that of crypto money. money, Brian. It's all that crypto. Such a waste of money. Trading um, NFTs for commercials. So stupid. Um. So. It's okay, Grandpa. It'll be all right. I could I uh, I could hey, say you stupid. kids get off my lawn with your cryptocurrency and NFTs. I'm just saying it's scam, getting scammed. Um, it's like gambling. I just someone said that about the the coin when it came out too. No, the coin has value. It doesn't. I a quarter I know is worth a quarter. Crypto only because someone different. told you that. If I go to the store. And I can buy some for a quarter. I still get something for a quarter. Crypto, it goes up and down. I can put hundred dollars and buy crypto. You know what made me turn off? But it could be worth less like, or more. I'm not into the cryptocurrency. But so I, why are you arguing with me? Because well, I just like to argue with you. But second, there, um, the because that's how the show works. Um, we used to agree and everything. Who would watch? Um, I went to the the little uh, mini mart on the corner there of. Uh, George Washington and Brainerd Road. And you tried to play with it. You paid with an NFT of your No, face. I was walking up to the door and this there's a sign on the door that says, we sell Bitcoin. I was like, if I could buy Bitcoin at a convenience store. How does a convenience store sell Bitcoin? Because it that's... That's what it says on the thing. They were selling Bitcoin. I don't know. See, so you're getting really screwed. Yeah. I was like, oh boy. This is... Jump the shark. Maybe it said we accept Bitcoin. I don't know. That's, that's what, what it said. The that's sign what it, said Bitcoin and we sell Bitcoin. I probably said we accept it. it said Bitcoin sold here. All right. I don't know. I've never seen that before. Yeah, me neither. So I thought I was like, wow, they've jumped the shark with the cryptocurrency already. Um. Anyway, let's move on from that. Vox Machia was really good. We got three episodes. We did. Um. Yeah. We got zombies. Yes. Um, the, my God. The bane of remember. every uh, D&D campaign. Zombies. I'm trying to remember how it ended because so much has happened between now and Friday. The well, last episode was that uh, they were walking in the dungeon. Is that how it ended? Okay. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. They got into the uh, Whitestone. Right, right. Um, and we got, what, two more weeks left? Of this, I think. Yes. Yes, I think so. Yes. Great show. Highly recommend it. Yeah, because we get 9, 10, 11, and then 12 is like a longer one the last week. I know John mentioned once we finish our board game, we should play around Dungeons and Dragons, which I would love. Yeah. And I mentioned that to Dan, and Dan's like, oh, I don't want to play that. So he told but you. He goes, between all the board games I bought, I want to play one of those. He told you. Yeah. 
Then I'm like, that was well, my first thing as soon as John mentioned. I'm like, well, Dan's not going to play. Yeah. So why are we going to do that? Yeah. Just be the three of us playing with John DMing. You can make Bobby drive down. Yeah, or up. Drive up. Um. Anyway, uh, Vox was good. Peacemaker was fantastic. I'm so excited for yeah. um, Thursday for the finale. They they're setting up. This is good. They're going after the cow. And yes. We saw the cow. Yes. Uh. Wow. Um. Dude, it's going to be epic. Like, it's so funny. Like. I got Allison. She's in, all into the show now. So we're watching it and the show ends and I'm like, it's going to end. God damn it. Ends right yeah. there. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I love it. I'm excited to see how this is going to end. I think it's the, the beginning scene spoilers was very brutal. Oh, um, yeah. you, we actually got to see the episode scene was brutal with him killing his brother because his dad would accidentally make, would, would, purpose yeah. yes accidentally but his dad would pit them against each other and they would place bets they'd fight pit them yeah they were and, basically like pit bulls but he just had them fighting each other and i was like this is a great backstory for a character like peacemaker because we're so used to seeing the backstories of batman where his parents died but this we get the back. We always see the, the the backstories of the heroes, but it's very rarely that we get the backstories of the villains. Well, he's not. And shows, but he like, thinks he's you know a I mean? hero, but he. But to, in the the grand scheme of things, he right. was the villain, which is why he was part of the Suicide Squad. Yes, technically. So I think that's like the the one thing that we have gotten more on the DC side is they're better at delving into the origin stories of certain characters well with a tv show it's more yeah. fleshed out yeah. um i don't think you could do that in a movie well in the uh, movies even well. they've been able to do a good job of backstorying harley quinn i guess i guess yeah. yeah um but anyway i liked it i thought that was brutal and she's scene. been in three movies she's been more movies than any other character basically yes I, I like that scene though with yes. him convulsing and it was just like wow it was well, not crazy like, not like that I don't like it that way but I didn't like, like it that the, way I'm just saying yes, it was well like done the, the way it was done yes thanks yes. for mansplaining what I well, no problem but just the way you said it it's like oh god I liked watching him convulsing on the ground like, I can't you, say anything you constantly interrupt me Mark you're killing me um I'm trying to get across what I'm trying to say um Yes, I, I enjoyed the backstory. I think it makes him like a likable. You understand him more. You're more empathetic to him as a character. Yes. And I think because when we saw Suicide Squad originally, I said, "Wow, they have a tall, they have a tall glass to fill to make us like Peacemaker." Because I hated his guts when he killed Rick Flag. That's um, what you're supposed to do. And this show has redeemed him in my eyes i think they've done a great job well the 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 best thought i think that happened in this whole process which james gunn i think is the linchpin of this whole thing is linchpin of this whole thing is i think his plan was in place before he did that movie like with suicide squad i think once he did had suicide squad going picked peacemaker to be his like guy to use afterwards he knew like i'm gonna take this character and have him do what he does in suicide squad and then we're gonna like devolve him down to his base yeah. and flesh all out in this story so then when he like reappears in the next thing after this people now like be cheering for him it's like he did he's done a great job of like taking a, a hated character tearing him down to build him back up again very loki like actually yes yes like peacemaker the more you think about it is like they what they're doing with peacemaker in dc is what marvel did with loki built him up as this bad guy tore him down rebuilt him up as like a hero basically and now he's going to be like yeah on the opposite side so it's, it's been a great character devolve and rebuild and getting to see him fight his dad was pretty good. That was a yeah. good fight. I yeah. really like that. And like, well, they did a great job of like showing how he had to like come to grips with this whole thing and like realize that it wasn't his fault. Like this was not him yes. that killed his brother. Right. 
like he's thought this whole time this is why he does how he is and how he is as a character is because of this and that like that one moment has shaped his whole life basically and now he has to like come to grips with it and be like it wasn't me it was wasn't it was an accident it wasn't my fault if my dad had not made us do this none of this would have happened and yeah. so he just cops him in the head yes well at first i'm like oh is he gonna do it is he just gonna suffer but i'm like you know he's gotta put up yeah, he's gotta he's gotta yeah take him out he's gotta take yeah. him out. and he did yeah. which was great um so now the bigger bad well the the cow in quotes yeah. is coming so i can't wait to see we'll talk about it next week uh but this episode for me was another 10 i really enjoyed it it was yeah it was it's gonna be a bloodbath a lot of people are gonna get murdered oh yeah this next episode oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah oh yeah there's gonna be because yeah. they're all infected with the, they're all butterflies. Yes. So if they yeah. die, they're already yeah. dead. Yeah. I mean, well, they're, yeah, they're already dead. So yeah, yeah. they're just, but now yeah, you actually have to squish the bugs. Yeah. To, that was like, so sad when they, they, they when they killed the, the guy. The hand. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. That was sad. Um, but man, good stuff. And Eagly, he's, he's yes. doing fine. Yeah. Um, that was good. But anyway, we gotta we gotta move on, Mark. Uh, yes. Time wise, so um, book of Boba Fett. Yeah, so let's talk about the season finale. Book of M and F and Boba Fett. That episode had everything I wanted. Oh my gosh! It was like uh, it was the the story that you have played in your base in your bedroom when you were a kid. Yeah. I thought the same thing. A Rancor toy, and you had a Bubba Fett toy, and you were like, what if Bubba Fett rode a Rancor? Right. What would happen? Pretty much. It felt like I was watching my child, me playing as a kid. Yeah. They captured it very well. Um, Amazing. Grogu came back. Which, Which, yeah, I mean. Did you think that Luke was going to be in there for a split second? Because I kind of did. I was like, is Luke? No. No, I think that? that like they they used the Luke battle. Luke fighting, I think, was used up in that last season of. Maybe. I'm not saying fighting. I'm just saying Luke being in the X wing, giving no, Grogu I back. Think he's he's off doing the the Jedi Academy thing now, so he's not going to be. I don't think well, we'll see him again. I think we will, but. Not now. I just thought Luke might have been in that X Wing to deliver uh Grow Crew. That I thought that was weird. But R2 yeah. was in there, so that's cool. Get to see R2. R2 just flies the X Wing. He can do that. That's what the astromech droids are for. Yeah. Um then um I was I was kind of hoping the 1950s get people the speedsters would die, but only a couple <laughs> of them died. I think two of them escaped. The girl and the yeah. guy. We got uh, Blag and Scrag, whatever their names are. I like, I mean, I like the chick. She's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, The Rancor stuff was awesome. And then it's very episode one with those robots coming down and just going to town. Yeah, two battle droids. It was pretty awesome. Yeah. They're Um, just super battle droids is what they were. But anyways, uh, yeah. No, I think they left those two members of the, the... spider whatever they're the mods gang because i think now that it's like they're establishing like this is going to be mando's home base kind of like he's gonna maybe yeah use this as his to and from place so he has his like squad now like this was the building of his tribe. team yeah mando and bubble fat working together was awesome the oh jetpack scene yeah. was awesome yeah getting the scene where uh uh is it uh, Cad? Chat Cad comes by. Uh, finally, Cad Bane. But they kill him, and I was kind of interested. I was like, "Oh, that's kind of weird that they're not going to bring him back." Because <sighs> that was like a deep dive. Like you had to know stuff to make that make sense. Like that was relying on <clears throat> that end scene of Cad Bane was relying on fans that know the story of Cad Bane. Yeah, but I don't have to know his backstory. I'm just saying 
Well, why? to make it more relevant, and the reasoning why Boba Fett had to be the one to kill him, you if you need to know a little bit more than just what happened in this, so like because he actually talks about it a little bit as they're fighting. I, Cad Bane raised basically raised Boba Fett after his dad dies. Oh, there's a backstory there. Yeah, there's a backstory with the two of them. Oh, because after the yeah. uh, well, because after you get the story in Bad Batch where the Empire takes out uh, the uh, clone uh, planet, the Camino. Mm-hmm. That basically is like after Clone Wars, mm-hmm. which means Boba Fett has nowhere to live, basically, like because he's right. Django's dead. What it, what happens to him? His early early story, which they might delve into if they do a season two of Book of Boba Fett, might be him being raised by Cad Bane, and that's how he became the bounty hunter that he became was because Cad Bane showed him the rope, so to speak. Like, he started out as Cad Bane's, like, uh, whatever they call it, apprentice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that's how, that's where that connection is. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah, so that's uh-huh. why Cad Bane was like, oh, so you're finally going to kill me? You finally are, you know, think you're mad enough to take me? Remember, we because he actually fought, Cad Bane and Boba Fett fought earlier in Boba Fett's career, Boba Fett lost was never like thought he was good enough because he couldn't take down Cad Bane and Cad Bane was always the you know so that was that whole storyline yeah I had no idea so yeah I, I mean it explains more I was kind of like oh interesting they're going to kill him um, but it was still a great it, well, I don't think there's anything more to tell with his story there's nothing yeah, else yeah. That, like you had to like he had to be like the, the black hat guy for Boba Fett. Right, right. Um, Especially so we, since they sent uh, Fennec Shan to just wreck house and yeah. most easily. So. Dude, I know. She's just like a, just uh, ninja, a ninja. Yeah, just kill everybody. <laughs> she drops in there. Goes, and they're like, are you going to have time to go to most easily and just take care of everything? She's like, oh, yeah, sure. And I was like, yeah, everyone's going to die. Everyone's yeah. dead. We're not going to hear anything from those people ever again. No. They're all done. Like hanging the mayor. I was like, oh man. Yeah, she's just going to town, man. Um the, the Raincore stuff was cool. The fact that it goes out, it just wrecks havoc once uh yeah. Bob Fett's off of it, which is pretty cool. Well, because it has no yeah one controlling it. It's just a and it's animal. it's scared because yeah. it doesn't know what to do, and they're all yeah. firing at it. Yeah. Um, and then having Groku show up and do his little Groku thing to put it to sleep. Was interesting. Which shows he's more powerful than Luke because Luke tried that in Return of the Jedi and couldn't do it. Yeah, so he puts the Rancor to sleep and then falls asleep next to him because he, yeah, and, and he yeah. snuggles up next to it. Yeah, that's cute. Um, yeah, I know you were gonna be like, oh, that's adorable. Yeah. Um, the chase scene with um, uh, what's her name and Groku that was a lot of fun. Um, like I don't know, it was just so great to see the all this world building come together. Yeah. And you know what? And now Mando's <laughs> off on his real story, which we'll see next year. Yeah, season three. Or the but this year. What what Whenever the haters hate because of the title, but you know what? Whatever. It was great. Whatever. It was great. I mean, it, it was a fun show. It had its lulls, like it had its peaks and valleys, and that's fine. Yeah. The ending was amazing. Yeah. The past three episodes were the best. Did anyone complain that Captain America Civil War was basically an Iron Man movie? No. Right. That's my point. You watch MCU movies and they're always there's tons yeah. of them in there. Yeah. Yeah. Captain America Civil War was about Tony Stark's family dying and that his battle was that and that's why the Civil War happened. Yeah. So yeah. It had really I'm, nothing to do with Captain America besides he wanted to keep Bucky alive. Yeah. No one like threw a fit. Like, oh, it should have been called that. It should have just been called something else. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, great show. I, I can't wait to see what they're, they're going to do next. I'm excited for Obi-Wan Kenobi, which comes out yes. in May. Yes. May. They put a poster out. Yes. I'm a little scared about the guy who wrote it. 
I know Damn. you are. You're scared about everything. Do you know who the guy who wrote? Yes, it? I've heard you complain about it in the chat. I know well, exactly what. What, what scares me, Filoni and John Favreau are not part of this project. That's what scares me. Well, not all we're going to be winners, Brian. I know, but it's Obi. The Obi Wan show has got to be good, man. I think it's going to be fine. I think it's going to be good. I don't think there's. I mean, you have a story basically written there's not much you have to do besides just write it down you don't well, have to do much else it's six episodes yeah and the the guy who wrote it is also he wrote well he's he wrote uh robin hood that robin hood movie king arthur legend of the sword yeah Army of the Dead. He wrote the screenplay for Army of the Dead. He wrote the screenplay for King Arthur, Legend of the Sword. Yes. And Which wasn't a terrible movie. It was just this: the, the acting was bad. Pretty bad. I'm just like, I'm a little bit nervous. Because I mean, all he does is write it. Does, he, he needs people that can actually act to do, like, Army of the Dead thing wasn't his fault. He wrote the story. He just the, the acting was bad. Yeah, but the story sucks. I'm just saying. Well, if you not have seeing, Zach Snyder helping you out, it probably wasn't. Seeing it. Filoni and Favreau part of this just makes me some, I mean, I, I have to believe Filoni has to be a consultant on this. I'm assuming Favreau's got to be a little bit of a <laughs> or something on it somewhere. Yeah, it just, I hope it's good. I yeah. hope it's, my fingers yeah. are crossed. I'm excited for it. Yeah. I'm just holding back some reservation there. Yes. That's all. Well, as we're getting ready to wrap this up, we got to talk about the biggest thing that happened this past weekend. Yes. The Doctor Strange trailer. Doctor Strange trailer. Oh my goodness. This Doctor Strange trailer. Okay. Let's I, I I'm gonna come out and say uh, we heard Patrick Stewart's voice. Yes. As percent uh, of a bald head. It, it, he's playing Professor Xavier. Yes. We don't know which which he he could be Professor Xavier, and it, obviously in a different. I went to the same place John went to in my head. As soon as I saw it, they're doing a multiverse Illuminati. Yes, they are. That's how they're going to bring the Illuminati into the Marvel universe. Yes, because That's the only way that makes sense. Now, Mark, I got something for you. Xavier yes. appeared to be wearing a black robe or cloak. Yes. In a um. In a a, a a scene in yes. 2014's Days of Future Past. Yes. Um, that dealt with time travel too. Yes. So they could be weaving that version in because we yes. know that he died in Logan. Yes. Um, so obviously this is a different timeline. He still exists. He's part of the Illuminati. The Illuminati. Well, I think that they're the the, the timeline is going to be that, um, from what we saw in Loki. That they, the TVA wasn't the only group that was monitoring the multiverse. Yeah. Because we saw the Ultrons walking around. So if Tony Stark could be guards. part of it. And so I don't think it's going to be the Tony Stark we know. No, I think it's going to be Robert yeah. Downey Jr. Really? Yes. Yeah. Why? Why? Why would it not be? I don't know. That'd be a major pull if they could bring him back for that. How would it be? He he loves that character. I know, but he said that he was done. If they were able to bring him back, that's going to be a major thing. I okay. In my opinion, that is like you're going to win so many. That's going to be big. I mean, oh, it's going to be amazing. It it's going to be huge. Yeah, it's going to be Robert. I, it's way better than the other ideas that's been thrown out there. Okay, the fact that people even say Tom Cruise just boggles my mind. <laughs> Why the fuck? Do I want to see Tom Cruise? Where did that even come from? That's what I want to know. Like, I know. The person that was like, you know who would be good as Iron Man? Tom Cruise. A crazy Scientologist who is, who is just a horrible, horrible person. We want him in the MCU. Uh, so yeah, people we don't, who don't want know, that. the Illuminati is uh, was born from the Skrull invasion. Tony Stark decided he needed to have a group that was above all the other groups that was like the ones that monitored all the groups at once, like a, like a U United Nations for the superheroes. Yeah, but they protected Earth yeah. in all the Earths, not yes. just the one version. Not just our Earth, but all the Earths in the multiverse. Right. So it's Professor X, Tony Stark, Reed Richards, Doctor Strange, 
Black Bolt from the Inhumans, and Namor, the Submariner. Obviously, for this, it's going to be different. They're going to change yes. it up. I'm assuming we're not going to get Namor, unless they decide to pull the Namor, which would be weird, because we've never had any inkling of Namor. Yeah. Uh, I could see them pulling Black Bolt from the Inhumans. Uh, yeah. Rumors of people saying that one of the guys in the scene, if you like cut down that one scene where you see the people in the background that are sitting up on the dais there, that one of them looked like Adam Warlock's costume. We know he's going to be in Guardians uh, 3. Of the Galaxy, so yeah. that's a possibility. Um, the ongoing rumor has been John Krasinski is rumored to be Reed Richards. Reed Richards, it looks like he will be part of there, and yeah. if it is... That's kind of cool. It could introduce the Reed well, because that'd be a great way to like to, to me. This is the movie to bring in everything. At least start the buildings of it. Yes. If Building Fantastic it. Four is in the phase four at the end of phase four, if it's somewhere in phase four, this would be your way to introduce the Fantastic Four into it. Yeah. Like Reed Richards is a part of the Illuminati with Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is supposed to be, and the rumor is that Doctor Strange is supposed to be the Iron Man of this phase. Like the main builder of the new Avengers, kind of like the linchpin of all the stuff. So then it makes me kind of curious to say, what if they just don't use Iron Man at all? What if they just drop Iron Man from the Illuminati completely and it's just Doctor Strange that they're bringing in? Well, I'm glad it's you said that, Mark, because hold on, Professor X, Reed hold Richards. On. Well, I, I, okay, so Doctor Strange is being pulled in, but by the end of the movie, he could be one of the people that who sits up on the seat. That's what I'm saying, yeah. But I'm saying, what if they just don't even use Iron Man as part of it and just have Doctor Strange be on it? Well, here we go. I'm glad you brought that up. The uh, Legend series Marvel toys. Yes. There is one that came out called Defender Strange. Yeah. So there's potentially three versions of Doctor Strange. You have the Doctor Strange we know. Then there's going to be an evil Doctor Strange, which we saw in the trailer. What if? Yeah. And then if there's a third Doctor Strange, Defender Doctor Strange. Because um, well, I even wonder, too, if what if Doctor Strange is already in the Illuminati? That and could be the, the Doctor Strange that they're talking about that Defender Strange is the Strange that's up on the dais already. And when he right. gets in there, that's why, like, well, we need to explain this to him. Like, yes. that's what we need to explain to him is why are you already here? Like, why am I seeing myself up there? So there could be three Doctor Strange is in that. I think we're going to like four or five Doctor Strange. I think we're going to get a lot of Doctor Strange. There's going to be multiple versions of Doctor Strange. He's basically fighting himself. That's basically what this is going to come down to. Yeah. Um, uh, but I think also gonna might they might pull the big the the Scarlet Witch is fighting her own stuff. Well, Scarlet Witch is gonna fight Doctor Strange. Yeah. Obviously, there's gonna be conflict of interest there. She's yeah. pissed off because when he messed with time, he's a hero. When yes. she messed with time, she's a villain. Yeah. So she's she's got a bone to pick with Doctor Strange. Yeah, at least but part of her does. I feel like that's what we're getting in the trailer, and I obviously yeah. believe that's a it, it's gonna be one of those things that it might uh it might uh they might team up by the end uh to help each other i don't know yeah. we'll see yeah we'll see that's because i think another person that could be in this new illuminati version doesn't have to be the people that were in the comic book it could be a whole new group of people yeah i think so uh a cool one to me would be if they had like a good kang the conqueror because you know, even mentioned in Loki that there's multiple versions of him. Yeah. And they all fought and he was the last one to survive. What if there was another one that he didn't know about that's still out there? That's in this multiverse Illuminati. Mm, and I don't know. trying to take down the, that other, the evil Kang. I don't know. I feel like the Kang... And also, Sylvie's been, like, been in the Illuminati as well. In the new version that's in the comics now, Sylvie is a member of the Illuminati as well, so... There could be that. Like, Loki could be in the Illuminati. It could be anybody, really. It could be anyone could be in this. Right. We'll find out in May. I know. I'm, I'm so excited. 
Yeah. Oh my God, May cannot get here quick enough. Oh man. Uh, I think just seeing Professor X uh, is going to be huge. Yeah. Now I'm going to say this, Mark. Seeing uh, Spider-Man No Way Home and that roller coaster of a ride we had, I feel when we see this movie opening night, it's going to be the same fucking thing. It's going to be this that times two, I think. It's going to be because there's been the rumor out there that this movie is going to have more characters in it than Endgame. I don't know. They're going to go that big because they can do anything in this movie. Yeah, but I don't think they're they're not going to blow their load that quickly. I feel oh, like- I think they will. I don't know. I think Marvel's now on the uh, trajectory of just do the damn thing. It's like, I, if you're going to do it, do it big. Don't I, just half-ass it and like yes, but my, do the multiverse of madness, but not have everything going on at once. My point is this. If, if it makes sense for the story, right. I don't want to see cameos that make no sense. That's Well, because I think that it's going to be segmented it's not going to be i think like this story is going to be dr strange going through all these multiverses trying to track down somebody or something yes figure out what's going on and i think in that you're going to see might not be full-blown scenes might not be like things but you're going to see a lot of characters circum like slight shots of all these different characters throughout this movie it's not going to be like endgame or like a big huge battle with everyone all at once well you should, yeah I, that's what i'm be saying segments like little segments yeah. of this and that yeah. you're going to see like there's a, a clip in the trailer someone's broken down and there's a broken uh agent carter shield like the captain marvel shield was broken yeah in the tony stark uh dream do we see peggy carter come back do we see deadpool do we see deadpool Deadpool was in a window of a pane of a window. Someone took a shot of. Supposedly. Deadpool yeah. show up. Yeah. Is this how, like, I think this is like Marvel's now has all these properties in their portfolio now that I think this movie is going to be their way of being like, hey, here's how we can bring everyone in. Yeah. Without having to do a huge explanation thing. Yeah. Like, oh, the, mar- the multiverse broke. And all these people came through, and now they're here. And now they're all part of the same neighborhood. Pretty much. Um, so that's yeah. how we do the origin story. We don't have to go back and do all this stuff. Now they're just here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, man, I am so stoked for this movie. I, I, I mean, what else can we... I don't want to even want to see another trailer. Because I'm, I don't want anything to be <sighs> ruined. I think, like, as we get closer, I... I'm staying away. That, that's I might see the next one. That's that's it. my final trailer for that movie. I know you like you don't like even see the original trailers. I'm surprised I'm, you I want it. to go in like a virgin, <laughs> touched for the very first time. Yes, I want to be surprised for the very first time. <laughs> like a virgin. Yeah, that's what I want to. I want to go in uh, not knowing anything other than what I just saw. That's it. I'm ready. Right. I'm ready for this movie. Okay. Um, it's dude it's gonna be so many good it's so weird the fact that i'm saying i'm seeing three movies in three weeks yeah. and i just saw we just saw um what did we just see spider-man well no what's oh i saw jackass oh you saw jackass i saw jackass oh, and now i like um it's just weird going back i i mean i miss the movies at the movies the movies the see movies. and diesel was right it yeah. brought you back at the movies. the movies movies different at the movies um i don't know there's just something fun seeing it with a group of people than watching it on my couch you know it's a well, different that's the whole stick of the movies that's the selling point of it that's what i'm saying it's, it's a whole that's different there. Experience. um anyway mark we should wrap it up i think it's been a great show i think yes. we, we we there's um, a lot happened in this past week a lot of stuff yeah. happened. next so week a lot of stuff I'm going to have my full report on Cowboy Bebop, that Netflix show. I'm going to finish these two episodes this weekend. Yes. And um, I, I'm i going to be, you know, I, I, like I said, I have my criticisms, but I also have the stuff I liked, which I haven't talked about yet. I'll save that for next That's week. Save it for next week. Um, and then we, we have the finale of Peacemaker. So next week is Peacemaker. Yep. And, That's um, the big thing for next week. And yeah. uh, Vox Machina, we'll talk about that some more. 
And then the week after that, the Batman. Yeah, the Batman. And we're going to see. We'll have movie. our review of Foo Fighters. The Foo Fighters movie. 666. I'm excited for that. It looks awesome. Yeah. I'm so glad they have a showing closer to home. Yeah. I was yeah, so. No, I don't want to go to the Plainville. That's. I fine. know. I canceled my tickets and I just Oof. bought those tickets. Awesome. And I was just like, I don't want to drive to Plainville. Me neither. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, you, yeah. you never know what the weather is going to be like. And if, oh, anytime I do something, the weather is bad. So. All this right. Is true. This is true. Let's wrap it up. Everybody right. like, and subscribe and we'll be back next week. It was more uh, Geekonomics podcast. All right, everybody, as always, be safe, be kind, be good. Bye, everybody. Yeah. Gonna be on the cover.